Greetings, 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 vessels of the Most High. It's time to crusade with Minister Change on the podcast, Change of Life Testimony from Sinners to Saints. You know, life is a testimony. God is good all the time. Be thankful mm-hmm. for today. Let tomorrow take care of itself. Amen, 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 amen. I'd like to welcome and amen, my amen. guest, Mr. Ricky G, to the podcast, Change of Life Testimonies from Sinners to Saints. What's going on, fam, fam? Tell me how you're feeling today. Yes, sir. Cool. Bless, man. Change. How you doing, baby? Man of God. Hey, man. Hey, man. I cannot complain, man. It's always a blessing, man, to be in the land of the living where we can fellowship, man, enjoy this glory, this glory, this glory that God gave us, brother. Hey, man, we're going to start this interview off, man. What you telling the people, man, where are you from? Where was you born and raised? You know what? I, I'm, I'm, I was born in Houston, Texas, but I was raised up in East Oakland, California. And I, I and I don't want to I don't want to flip nothing because I know how how much of a blessed man that you are. But also with me, I, I just got to pray us in like Lord, we, we thank you for today because yesterday is gone. Tomorrow Amen. hasn't gotten here. But today I'm able to sit here with blessed man change because the fact of the matter, like he told me yesterday, everybody needs a change, Lord, a change to get to know you better, to love you more, because the fact of the matter is, can't nobody love us better than you. Amen. 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 Amen, brother. Hey, that was a good word, man. That was a good word, man, to start off. So since that that good prayer right there, man, we're going to lead into, man, what is your favorite Bible scripture, bro? You know what? I got a gang of them, man. But but to be honest with you, as I as I eat from the buffet of the Bible, today what's on my mind is huh, Jeremiah 29, 11. And the thing about it, when God said he's not here to harm us and he's here mm-hmm. to prosper us, Yes, and yes, that, yes, um, most definitely. That's, he said to give us an expected end. And like we were talking, a lot of people will take that as the end of life, but but what I received it as is the end of uh, not falling for the devil's mess. Uh, the end Amen. of, of uh, a lot of people are going through things in this world where everything costs a lot of money to eat, a lot of people can't hardly pay their rent and the enemy is running rampant like he got a license. And right Amen. now, what I take from that scripture is that I like the part at the end where God says for a blessed future. Like I say, earlier, today is a new day. Today is going to tomorrow. If you keep your faith, you know, Amen. keep your faith. Um, and 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 understand that God is here for you. You never know what tomorrow may bring as we speak life on earth, but also if we wake, if tomorrow comes and He happens to bring you home, then that everlasting life Amen. in heaven. That's where I want to be. So that's what Amen. that's what I get from that dream for nine eleven a day. Amen. How you feeling man. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hey, man, good word, good word, Ricky G. Hey, how man, you, if you had to describe yourself to a stranger, man, how would you describe yourself? As a man of God okay. and man. a man that knows that Christ Jesus is the only perfection as I fall short of his glory, even if I don't do nothing wrong today. Amen. And the trust. Amen. That's what it is. Amen. Amen. Good word, Mr. Ricky G. Good word. Good word, brother. Amen. <laughs> Can you name the most important thing about accountability? Being responsible and, and stick to what you say, if you possibly can, because none of us are God. 
But I think it's this. I think it's the the simple things of one step at a time. Um, it just be about what you say, and if you can't be man or woman enough to say that you can't, Amen. you know, I, I think that's that's what it is. That's what it is. Hey man, hey man, good word, good word, Mister Ricky G. Good word, good word, brother. Hey man, come on. This right here, <laughs> this right here, man, is the testimony moment. Man. Tell me, man, when, where, what, and how? What made you want to change your life over, man, to the Lord, brother? Um, I've always been to church. I've always been in church since I was a kid, a, a little dude in East Oakland, but. As a kid, you can hear the word and it and and it and it absorbs in you, but you really don't know. I didn't really know how to worship until I got older. Amen. And the thing about it, I think most most people don't really understand who God really is unless you go through something, whether if it's your your hospital bed, if you've ever been in the hospital sick and almost and your life is draining out of you. Uh, Amen. Who are you going to call on? Because the, the enemy, as he lets you live through life, doing all the things you think you want to do in life, hanging with the the wrong crowd or trying to be like what you see on TV. Yes, yes. What made me really get closer is the love of my elders who said Amen. to trust God. And once Amen. you go through miraculous things like car wrecks that don't kill you, bullets that shoot by you that would have should have been through you. Uh, Amen. Um, the devil just be trying to kill us every day. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, I'm going to keep it. If I was to pick one besides all the dangerous things, when my when my oldest daughter was born with her umbilical umbilical cord wrapped around her neck mm, inside okay. my wife my ex wife's body and her mom's body and it was hard for them that she was losing air and okay. she they was trying to cut the umbilical cord without cutting anything on her body body and what I did was because I've got a lot of them but that that one right there when she came out I think she knew about that prayer I think she supernaturally heard that prayer coming for me because I turned around and I just prayed I say Lord um, I know I've said this to you since I was a child but I depend on you I depend on you and and your promise um you have no lack. So the thing about the lack is her not having lack of breath. And when she came out, when she finally came out, it was kind of crazy because out of all the people, she she looked at me and just started smiling like she knew. <laughs> okay. And, you okay. know, things like okay. that. She, she, but, okay. She, yeah. My Most baby girl. Bro. Yeah. Man. She, she cooler than a fan she, too. She loves <laughs> she that. Man, you. Hey man, hey man. See, she already knew that you was praying that powerful word of coverage over her, man. And when and when she stepped out and she saw that face, she said, Whoa, that man right there been praying, been praying, been praying. <laughs> and hey, his prayers has you know been answered. Been trying, you know the devil been trying to kill us since the day we was born. Hey Amen. He wants brother. to destroy what God has for you in the future. Yeah, the devil wants to destroy what God has made you for in the future because God knows everything. He knows uh, he is, you know, God is father time. And so as you know, you have children and, um, or, or, you know, and it's like, as you were being raised, grown people told us stuff, but you know, you kind of like take a grain of salt because you want to hang with your friends. But they always Amen. inbred it. Wise ones inbred it, God. It was always somebody there to say, baby, you know, no matter what goes down, trust Almighty God, because if you ain't got God, you don't have nothing. And so I transferred what I was learning 
to Amen. my children. And Amen. I have to let them know I am not God, but I can be the blessed of what you need me to be um, as a as a as a father. And and I, you know, I tell them that um, you know, just because I teach you what I know don't mean that I can't learn from you also. So whatever I don't know and you don't know, we can go learn together. Amen. 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 Well, it's definitely, brother, and that's and that's the thing. Like my mom used to say, boy, mm -hmm. you know, ne you're never too old to learn anything. You got to sit back and listen. That's why I tell the people all the time. My favorite scripture, James one nineteen: quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, baby, slow to slow anger. anger. Hey, yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, yo, Mr. Ricky G, man. Do you think, man, yeah, uh, man? A little bit of mental abuse, man, physical abuse, church hurt, et cetera, can cause people to go down the wrong paths in life, man. It can cause them to create trust issues and build up walls. I believe, I believe in the flesh. It can because okay. the flesh ain't really no good. And I think about if you want to separate. The thing about mental illness, what I've learned about it is that I think so I went to I went to school for human behavior in college. Right. And OK, I was just trying to figure out why people or certain people are so mean. And what okay. I found out, you don't know what anybody has went through in their life um, before you was born or before you met them. And okay. so what my teacher told me was, I asked him, why do people act the way that they do? Because um, I understand when it is that people are nice to you. Yeah, and, yeah. And, but the way people act mean, yeah, the way people act mean, I say, it's like, it's like these, it's like, you can, you can have a person, it's like people like right now. There's a lot of mean people shooting up the schools and tripping. I know the devil is who he is. Sin is what it is. But my teacher told me, he said, um, I said, he said, well, you, you really, I said, you know these things because you're my teacher, right? He said, let me keep it 100 with you. He said, mm -hmm. I took this class. I he said, I took this class because I had to have this to add on to my curriculum to, as a teacher so I can get a better salary. He said, but the truth is you wow. cannot figure out the human mind now. And it, yeah. it tripped me out because he said, you can't predict crazy. He said, but yeah. if you got manners, then if you have love in your heart from the Holy Spirit, because you can be in the room of crazy people and they know something is different about you. They won't harm you. They'll push you on to Amen. go the way that you're supposed to be, even if they live in the dens of life. That's how I survive. But I'm yes. not really a mean person. But I just, I, but being where I'm from, I don't. We got this thing. You, you may know from where you're from. We don't play because we learn from the ones who don't play. Now, spiritual, um, the spiritual part of it, um. A lot, I found out a lot of people go to church but don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because I ask some people, like, does God speak to you? And they go, mm -hmm. well, no, God don't speak to you because you get to do what you want to do. And it's based <laughs> on your... I'm like, well, I, I guess I didn't get the memo because I found out that your blessed behavior, your best behavior... And if Amen. you was born with manners, now I could go hang like like I was saying to you. I was raised up, I, I was raised up in show business, but on the way to that, I mm -hmm. I was raised up around the the pimps and the 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 D boys and the gangsters and all of them. But they saw something in me because of my talent and gifts that God was developing in me. And so Amen. whenever they went to go do dirt. They would say, hey, we're going to go handle our business, but you take this money and you go work on your playing your guitar. You go to rehearsal with your group. And Amen. it's kind of like when they say be Christ like the thing about that is Jesus was around all of that and he was yeah, tempted yeah. by by the devil. <laughs> 
and the devil must did, didn't didn't know what the what the thing was because he said, you know, like I say, him and his father are one. So yeah, so yeah. Christ couldn't be corrupted. And I tried to follow that. Yeah, I'm human. So like I said, I fall short. But but the ones who always tried to harm me would leave me out the door and say, mm -hmm. it's something different about you. And a lot of those gangsters knew about God because their parents were teaching them. They just Amen. wasn't. They had to get their money. Now, the thing about church hurt. It depends on what people are in ministry for. Because when I came okay. up, everybody, see, I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, no, what go, I ahead, learned go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Well, you don't, you, don't, you don't worship the pastor. Amen. I, I, you, the word. you don't worship the pastor. You work with the pastor. Because Amen. the word. When when you start learning a little bit of spiritual maturity and you kick back and see, you got you got pastors that can read that word so good. And that's mm -hmm. what his assignment is, because God is using him for that. But I also know mm -hmm. pastors I, like I had a pastor where we came up, he preached so well. But. He had children by everybody in the front row. You know, and he was married. But he yeah, was the coolest yeah. as the kids. He was the coolest dude. That was, you know, that was Reverend George. God bless him. No, I you know he's going to heaven now. But my point of it mm -hmm. is um your behavior personally. And I I I know that when people see something in you, um Amen. Because I'm not churchy, but I'll go to church yeah. to hear the word. I love fellowship. Fellowship Amen. can happen among the people of the church. But Amen. when people try to, there's a difference between, to me, prophecy and fortune telling. Or okay. people try to use what you don't know. Like say, oh, that's Bishop such and such, and that's yeah. Apostle such and such. I I don't really understand all of that. I don't even as a yeah. pastor myself. I don't even know. I I understand that God will show you some things, bro. And yeah. when yeah. when the people who love Christ love Christ mm -hmm. without all the fanfare and the bells and whistles, but God has yeah. blessed yeah. them to, to push you forward. You kind of when your spiritual maturity that kicks in with what work, works with you, you can see that it's like basketball or football. You can see the whole play like a quarterback. I didn't ask yeah, to be a pastor. I just want to love God more. So when I see people who come in, now, I call certain people, you got some bully pastors. They, they're bullies. Because they feed off of what you don't. Well, boy, you know, God, you know, well, God said, and I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. All I, you know, all I did was actually, well, I ain't got time for, you know, I was like, wait a minute. What do you, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you got compassionate pastors and you have to, every, like me and a, be, me being a, an evangelist singing um, pastor or minister, if you will, recording artist. I've stepped into a lot of places and I found out that um, a lot of them, when you step into their room, you find out what style of church they run. And okay. some of those pastors are really kind of mean to their flock. And if you don't do what they say, then they'll pick, make it seem like you're not a good Christian. Okay. And I don't, I don't like that. But then you can go in some places and they welcome. How can we help you? Um, it's about Amen. the God and love of Christ. And so to me, it's like cars. You ain't going to let everybody drive your car unless it's you different. trust them. Yeah. It, yeah. That's what I've learned. But the thing about almighty God, when, when you feel like you've hurt by the people in the church, because Maybe you're not strong enough as you're learning or you knew you're new. 
mm -hmm. lot of people that the, think that the pastor is God yeah, and that he doesn't need God. He does like the pastor doesn't need God because you see him as this being that's in the pulpit with the suit on, or if not, just he's just strong in, in his preaching. Mm -hmm. but the best way to find out what a good preacher is, it go over his house and see what his wife does, tells him to do. <laughs> um, okay. the words say, Trust okay. Almighty God only. Now, I'm not trying to tell you anyone in this um, that's listening if you could find a good church of love compassion spirit and truth then you 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 know that's that's you 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 know you you got you a mercedes benz if that's what you drive it ain't nothing you're going to be okay if this a praying church and they single you out to love on you but amen if, if, but if you go to a church and somebody try to have you do something that you can't really do and you can't say that you can't and they try to say that, oh, that's not a good Christian right there, and run. Run as fast <laughs> as you can. Run. Man. Because <laughs> that's God to lead you where you're supposed to be, man. That's that's what I've learned. I, I mean, I ain't all that, but that's what I that's what I've learned. Hey, you know. Hey, hey man, hey man, hey man. That was a boy. That was a good word right there, Ricky G. Boy, that was a you put that lesson down, brother. You put that lesson down, brother. You put that lesson down. Hey, brother, can you finish this sentence for me, man? God has always. been the greatest thing that has ever happened to me hey man tell, tell me one moment when you know that god was the greatest thing that ever happened to you well i have so many testimonies but i can give <laughs> you one in particular because okay. this has been a this has been a long journey Let's see, I don't want okay. to talk about the car wrecks. I don't I can give you one. Um, in front of my family's house. Um, when I went home to one of my brothers in Oakland, I went to my godmother's going home ceremony. And um, we had fun. We did what we had to do to take her to send her off with a bang and everything. Cause she's a she was she was a woman of God, period. But when I went over to okay. my my cousin's house who raised me, well. Her grandson was just getting out of youth authority, and he called himself being a gangster. I said, man, he's a, man come on, man, quit playing. Um, <laughs> okay. He was on the porch, and he had got out, and there was a bunch of his quote-unquote friends on the porch hanging yeah. out, and I hadn't seen him in a while. But I came by to see my cousin, who was his grandmother. I came by to see her because she helped raise me. And so when I was putting, I was in front of the house putting oil in front of my car, getting ready back to go back from Oakland, San Diego. And what would happen? What would happen was I was putting oil in my car, and he was talking to me about, "Man, cuz, cuz, your car is fly, man." Blah blah blah. But mm -hmm. I was happy to see him, and I was, you know how we are. We always trying to. I don't care. Our assignment is to get them closer to Christ. I said, "Man, look, check this out. All these people on this porch that's cussing, and and you know she got a she got to get her sleep so she can go to work in the morning." Y'all need to tone yeah. that down. And so be respectful because we was raised in this house where the neighbors respected everything. But he had his cats and the and a few girls over there. And I understand because I I you know I, I did that, but in a yeah. different way. But what it was, he had some funk going on with some extras. And so I saw this young lady that was acting like she liked him, but she was on her phone. You know, these these cell phones is a mess, you know that you know and what it was she was speaking to somebody and next thing i know as i was ministering to him about man you need to change your life bro keep it 100 blah 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 whoop -de whoop and so mm -hmm. it was a vehicle that come from around the corner but i seen the vehicle and i didn't pay it no mind but it was creeping like real slow and um soon as the okay. car was coming up the young lady on the phone she started, she got off the porch and started walking the opposite direction. I, I peeped the whole play, bro. And so what it was, soon as they pulled up against my car, I guess maybe it was like five inches, they pulled up really close and I'm still talking to them. 
But what I saw, they let the windows down. Then all of a sudden, as they let the windows down, all I heard was, first it was like pop. Then I heard pop, pop. Then I heard boom. And then it started getting louder and louder. And what it was, they was coming to kill him, but he ran off and left me there. He ran. He ran to the backyard. And I'm like standing there. And everything around me, bless man, change was shattering all around me. Everything that my my cousin's front stuff, you know, all her stuff she had in her front yard, and the next door neighbor, and and um, everybody started scattering. But me and my slow self in that moment, all of a sudden, man. I'm just gonna keep it one hundred with you. What I was standing there. And I was frozen. I couldn't jump to the side of my car or the front to duck down. I was just stuck in that moment. All of a sudden, I don't know about, have you ever experienced this? Oh, but yeah. Time, yeah. time, real time left me. Real time. Everything got supernaturally slow. And I say, okay. it's like what you see on TV. And I say, not with my mouth, but through my spirit, I say, Lord, I'm about to die, huh? And he said, no, I've mm. always told you since you was a child that I, by my right hand, I will protect you. And I was like, but in my spirit, without moving my mouth, it was just him and me. And I say, well, I've seen a lot of children pass away from drive-by shootings, elders, stand, walk, just people walking past, stand by people. And I said, they've died. And I and he said, he told me, this is not your business. He said, this is not your business. And he said, I'm here to protect you. Then all of a sudden, everything came back to real life in real time. And mm. like I said, my cousin was gone. The other people had ran. Other people was ducking. But the dudes who were shooting, they drove off. And at the end of that block, as I turned around, the police was right there. It was a one way. If you go to the left, it was a one way. If you go to the right, you go to the main boulevard called East 14th. But the police Mm -hmm. was watching the whole stuff that went down and he didn't chase after them or nothing. He just stood there. I mean, he just was parked there with his window down. I looked at him and I I raised my arms about like, did you see this? And he just drove away. But my cousin came out the backyard. My little cousin came out the backyard. And he, he was laughing, bro. He was laughing like, oh, cuz. He said, I don't mean to be laughing, man. But he said, man, you're supposed to be gone. And after the, the smoke was clearing, it was people in the apartments and in the houses that was just came outside. And they say, hey, you're supposed to be dead right now. You're supposed wow. to be gone. And my little cousin, I say, man, you got me. I almost used the F word. Yeah. But, but I say, I say, man, you got me messed up, bro. I say, you almost got both of us killed, but you left me standing here. And I understand that's a human thing to do. I say, but if you don't change your ways, bro, the devil going to come and suck you up just like he did. I say, just like he just tried to do. But you escaped this mm-hmm. time. And I say, and and, yeah. and and another thing, as that last stuff was happening, happening, I saw my wife pass by. I saw my children and my little grandbabies. I saw all of that. I saw the past of my life, and I saw everything that went through the day because I was coming from the the the, the ceremony, like I was saying, from from sending my my godmother home. But I saw all these things flash before me, and I knew that God was who he says he is as the great I am. He will protect you. He will, he will slap the devil down. But as I told my little cousin, I say, bruh, if you don't change your life right now, you not going to have no, too many chances to get away because you see they came to kill you whether if I was here or not. And yeah, I hopped in, yeah. I had my stuff, I hopped in that car so fast, right? <laughs> it seems like I got from 
from East Oakland <laughs> up in Northern California all the way to San Diego like in 15 minutes. With, I didn't stop for gas, homie. I didn't stop. I didn't do nothing. It seemed like I got there so fast, and I know it take about nine hours. I, <laughs> I was in that supernatural thing, and I was just, just really, really just shook up. But I, but, but when I, when, when I heard the words "peace be still," and I got home, um, I hugged my wife. You know, I hugged her up, and like, yeah, you know. It, it was just what it was. But the next day, I'm going to tell you this part, and then we'll switch up. When I went to check, you know, I checked my car. Um, I, I, I forgot that I didn't put the cap on the oil. I didn't mm -hmm. put the cap on. The cap was sitting up under the hood, but I let the hood down. I don't know how the oil didn't even fly out the car, man, and tear the engine up. But when I... But the next wow. morning when I went outside to see what damage was done, um, the only thing I found out, which was amazing, that when I lift the hood up, okay, I said, oh, I left the cap off. And I put the cap on the oil thing. Mm -hmm. But when I, but where my little chest was at, when the hood was up, there was a big nine millimeter bullet hole where my chest was at. And wow. I was like, where did that bullet go? Because I know that would have shattered my body, my little slam body. And I knew God blocked, the Holy Spirit blocked that devilish situation away from me. And I, and I, and, um, uh, Amen. Amen, brother. Amen. That's just, that's, that's one of the things that I knew Jesus Christ is my miracle. Amen. Um, I know that he loves me. He loves you. But Amen. it's that one-on-one -on -one thing that say, you know what? Yeah. Amen. God got a number for you to go home one day. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it yeah, wasn't yeah. time. Amen. Um, that's yeah. it. Amen. Like they say, man, our God is good all the time, brother. That was a good moment when he stepped in. Them angels surrounded you, and they protected you. Couldn't nothing penetrate. Once God put up that shield, ain't nothing getting through her, brother. Ain't nothing getting through her, brother, Rick. Well, you know what I want to add on to? Like mm -hmm. the like the, the scripture said that God has has a plan for you. But I've I've learned that he has many plans because just like with you may have noticed being uh, a man of God, it's like mm -hmm. God has plans for other people and you come to the crossroads of their life. So if I had a passed Amen. away right then, there was somebody in the future that he was going to use me for to get to for their future. <laughs> Amen. You know what I'm Amen. So Amen. If, Most if I, yeah. If I wasn't able to recover, I wouldn't have been in that place in whatever time of life to be there for that person who needed me to minister to him or her or them in song or either in just praying for them. And so Amen. God is amazing, bro. Amen. Amen. Supernatural. Hey, hey. Supernatural. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, Mr. Ricky G. Hey, man, what's a positive what's word a of man? encouragement, man? You can, what's a positive word of encouragement, man? You can give it to anybody out there that's hurt, man, that might want to give up. Just a word of encouragement, man. You can give them to let them know that this too shall come to pass. That Almighty God is your everything. That Almighty Amen. God, that Jesus Christ is not only my miracle, but he's yours too. And the fact that Amen. Christ Jesus let it be seen to let you know no matter what you're going through, because ain't nobody been through what he been through, is that like he he let Barabbas know on the side of him when when Barabbas was like, hey man, you 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 know all that stuff you're going through, they walked you down and they beat you up, they stabbed you, they kicked you around, they spit on you, man. And I know in my spirit as I'm getting ready to die from them hanging me up on this cross because the fact of the matter is everybody was dying on that cross before Jesus even got there. That was the Romans form of punishment, period. Right. But Amen. when he told that, man, he looked at that man, that man said, man, I'm, I want to be whatever it is that 
they say you are. I want to have a bar of that. I want to get a bar of that, man. He said, oh, man. well, he said, I want to be saved. He said, well, if you believe that I came here to save you and that my father and I are one in the Holy Spirit, if you believe that, then you are saved. And the, 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 the point of it is, is, is if, if heaven is good enough for Jesus, heaven is good enough for you. And no matter Amen. what you've done, if you repent, you know, you repent and apologize uh, to anybody that you may have trespassed against and forgive anybody that who may have trespassed against you. Like he was talking about in church hurt. Um, mm -hmm. Just forgive no matter, forgive. no matter what, because Christ Jesus is yeah. like, if God is, if, if, church, if, 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 if Heaven is good enough for me. Heaven is good enough for you. Just let him, just let him guide your steps, man. That's really amen. what it is. Brother. Amen. Amen. Good word. Good word. Mr. Ricky G putting it down. Look at him. You, you Pop look at him. Look at him. Put it down. Putting it down. Hey, uh, Mr. Ricky G, man, we're going to talk a bit, a little bit about that music you got, man. That's banging, man. Can you tell the people oh, a little I bit about your music, man? Give them, give them some contacts and let them know I didn't get in contact with Mr. Ricky G. <laughs> but what? Uh, to keep it 100 with you, is like the new album is called My Miracle. And I'm just going to put it out there. I don't write songs anymore. I'm the, I'm the best writer that I know of songwriting when I was in the <laughs> world. On that R&B flavor, man, them love songs and that, you know. But when God asked me to commanded me to do he, he actually asked me and i agreed but really you know god you can't turn him down unless you're crazy <laughs> i asked him to start writing these songs of my life my testimonies praising him and so you know you, you can you can hit me on ig um as mr mr ricky g ricky gant but mr ricky g and it's the same way with um you know, with Facebook, if you if you if y'all out there on Facebook is is Ricky, um, Ricky Gant Wilson. Um, or you can I don't know if you do Twitter, but it's the same thing. You, uh, uh, Ricky Gant, you can hit me up and um, on 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 the. Um, I'm tripping on the on, on the other one. Tick tock. Tick tock. OK. Got yeah, it's just got Mr. Ricky G two, Miss Mr. Ricky G two, and musically okay. you can you know a lot of people ain't streaming to me is a joke because you don't make no money on it. But um, I don't know how they they do that, but it looks good up there, Spotify, and you can catch it on Pandora. But if you want to get it direct, because people have found I found out people ain't do all their CDs away. But if you want to download. You know, you can go to all the media and Spotify and Apple Music and all that kind of stuff like that. And, and that's good. But I found that a lot of people ain't trying to put that data on their phone. But if you yeah. if you want to get it direct, I will give I will make sure that I give the info to to bless man change. Amen. And you can you can get it. I'll say, I'll, you know, I don't have a cash app thing like that, but I do got that Venmo. But I mean, uh, um, um, on you know, on that account or what yeah. have you, and uh, yeah. we'll just go from there. I'll give you the information, then you can relay it to the people. You know okay. how we do, because if I if I gave out my phone number, it'd be some problems. <laughs> you hey, need, man, hey, man. Need, look, look, unless you need prayer, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, um, yeah, hey, amen, hey, amen, hey, amen, hey, amen. Good word, brother. Good word. We're going to make sure we get that all out there for you, brother. Hey, man, look. Man, I, man, man. I love you. You can't do nothing about it. <laughs> hey, man, look. Most definitely, brother. Love you, too. Hey, man, but look. Minister Chains cannot let you get out of here, man, without giving you that blessing assurance, man. I know you already got it, but I want to make sure you get it for me, brother. So I was just wondering if you could just bow your head, man, and repeat these words after me as, as, as I go ahead and give you this blessing assurance, brother. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, brother. Dear Lord Jesus, 
I know that I'm a sinner. I believe that you died for my sins. But mm-hmm. right now, at this moment, I turn from my sins and open up the door of my heart and my life to you. Uh-huh. I confess with my mouth that you are my personal, personal uh-huh. Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Bye. All that's, right, brother. You know that's 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 <laughs> what it is. And, and I and, 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 and I just I just want to get I just want to do a little some some. Okay, okay. Your blood is my protection, Lord. This I know. You're protecting me in the line of fire, and that's for sure. The enemy tried to say, take my life. You said, have no fear. You gave me supernatural protection, Lord. Let me speak this clear. I'm glad I'm saved. You've inspired me to change my ways. Hey, my Lord, I'm glad I'm saved. Man, amen, don't, don't amen. Feel no shame. <laughs> don't feel no shame amen. about getting with Almighty God out there, y'all, because Jesus Christ came to save you and protect your life. Amen. And thank you, amen. um, my amen, blessed amen. brothers. Everybody need a change, man. We need some change too. <laughs> we need some change. <laughs> we, need, we need some pocketbook change, man. We need some change. Amen. Man, <laughs> amen, <laughs> amen, amen, brother. Hey. Man, it's been a pleasure, man. A good view, uh, interview, man. God bless this man. Stay safe. Pray for me, brother, and I'll pray for you. God's man, bless. Man, I don't see the 100. You cool as a fan, man. And, and and everybody, what they need to do is stay close to to, to <laughs> bless man change because you better get him now because what Almighty God just told me, he's going to take it to the next level like CNN <laughs> or something. The gospel side. Amen, amen. So I'm with you, Woo! man. <laughs> All right, brother. God bless. <laughs> I, lo- I love you, man. I'll be talking to you later. All right. Love you too, brother. Peace. I'm telling you. It's all up in
God. Sin of the saints. Minister change. You got a testimony. You got a testimony. You got a testimony. You got a testimony. God gave you a testimony. Speak it right now. Call Minister change. 260 203 6655. You want to share what God did for you? Call him right now. Each minister change. 260 203 6655. The email is live. C H Y A N G E dot T O T T E E at Gmail. Cause uh, you got a testimony. I got a testimony. You got a testimony. I got a testimony. And it's a change. Call him right now. 260 203 6655. God.